Oh. Uh, Dr. Donna, can you please do a video for everyone on deodorant? Because they got to know what's going on. So when I was in fifth grade, I remember going down into the auditorium, um, you know, watching this video about puberty and leaving with this little bag. Why am I even bringing this up to you? Because in that little bag was a tiny little container of a deodorant. And from about that age, most people start to use typical deodorant. Kids are in elementary school, they're about to go into junior high, you know, we've got sports and puberty and hormones and all this stuff happening. So then we take out our fancy little deodorant because who the heck wants to stink, right? Hi guys, I'm Dr. Donna from Innate Family Chiropractic. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the lovely little stick that we use under our armpits. So most of us have been using deodorant, good Lord, since we were like, what, nine, 10, 11 years old? That's a long time to continuously use a product on the same part of your skin, right? Everybody puts deodorant in this area. One thing we don't remember or don't always think about is what lays in this area. Right in there, we have something called your lymph nodes. Your lymph nodes are a huge, huge, huge immune organ. Not to mention, they sit very close to your breast tissue. Some common ingredients in deodorant that people don't um, always know are things like aluminum. We have things like parabens. We have things like silica. We have things like um, triclosan. We have propylene glycol. All of these things are not only possible carcinogens, hormone disruptors, but at the same time, they're heavy skin irritants. So skin is your biggest organ. So what happens if we continuously apply something with, you know, who knows how many chemicals in that same area for years to come? Well, let me tell you. From cancer.gov, I found a little, you know, little blurb on deodorant, antiperspirants, and breast cancer. And here's what they had to say. Aluminum-based compounds are used as an active ingredient in antiperspirant. For example, if you turn around your Dove container, it's gonna say aluminum in there. It's the first ingredient. These compounds form a temporary plug in the sweat duct that stops the flow of sweat to the skin's surface. Guys, sweating is not convenient, but it's normal. We need to sweat because what's coming out through that sweat? Toxins. Who wants to continuously build those toxins and let them just stick in and stay into our skin? Number one, no, no. Some research suggests that alumina-based compounds, which are applied frequently and left on the skin near the breast, may be absorbed by the skin and cause estrogen-like hormone effects. What happens when you have synthetic estrogen in your system? Nothing good. Because estrogen has the ability to promote the growth of breast cancer cells, some scientists have suggested that alumina-based compounds in antiperspirants may contribute to the development of breast cancer. Guys, we are voluntarily putting this on our skin every single day. It has to stop. And it has to stop in our kids because we are starting to mess with our hormones from an early age. And right around the same time where we've introduced deodorant is the same time these kids are starting their cycles. And it's the same time we're gonna lead to hormone irregularity. And God knows what's gonna happen as they get older. The article goes on to say that some research has focused on parabens, which are preservatives used in some deodorants and antiperspirants that have shown to mimic the activity of estrogen in the body's cells. Nobody wants synthetic estrogen. Nobody wants estrogen that's mimicking to be there. It's just not right. And we can't look back and we can't just sit there with our head in the sand and wonder why. I'm telling you why. I'm telling you that you can make a change and you can take one step, one natural step to stop possible hormone effects and possible hormone imbalances in your body. Now the bigger question in this lies, well, what deodorant do I use? Let me tell you, I've tried so many natural deodorants and sometimes I smell worse with them on than if I wore nothing. So everybody's body is completely different. Your chemistry is completely different. So play around with some things and see what you like. Personally, I use something called Schmidt. 
I'll put their little link below. I love it. It's worked so, so well for me and it's been great. I used to also use Stink Stop from a company called Fatco. Dr. Chris still uses that. It works great for his body. Dr. Mercola makes deodorant. There's a bunch of companies out there that make them, but find what works for you. But now that you know, don't just ignore this information. Go to your cabinet, wherever you keep your deodorant, toss it in the trash, tell everybody else you know, because your reproductive health and your breast health depends on it. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.